Okay, I'm back. I had to find a piece that I am apparently now missing. So, or was missing. Not now. Okay, so here's what we do. At the bottoms of these, put a 1x4. Um, yeah, uh, my, my colors aren't going to match perfectly, but for the underside, it isn't that important. Okay. Now, you want to put more A pieces, like this and this. And now this is where the C, whoops, I did it wrong. <laughs> there. This is where the C in CX uh, comes from. Uh, try to do a better job than I did of getting these to match. They won't be visible, at least from the top. Here and here. And then there and there and here and here. So you see there is the C in CX1. Now we're going to put these on. This, this will form the X. Now where, you may ask. You want to put them so that they form a line with each other as you go across. Let's see, like that. Like that, you see. And then here and here. Yeah. So the front ones go facing the front and the back ones go facing the back. Yes. Okay. And then we're basically filling holes. So where are my one by ones? Here they are. And those go right. And I think I only used one by ones. I didn't use as many as I could have. I think I used one by twos other than this. And that's fine. Put those right next to the blades. It all gets covered up anyway. <clears throat> and oh yeah, uh, now take these with the nubs on the sides. And these are going to get thrusters. These are going to be like maneuvering thrusters. That was my thought. Uh, don't don't put those on there just yet, though, because let's see, because I said so. Hmm. I should have more two by twos. Not sure why I don't. Well, I used just red 1x2s for the ends of this. Let's see what I did. Okay, I did, I did some random stuff here, oddly enough. What, me? Random? Never. Let's see. So, for this, for some of this, um, I did something like this and this. The, the more you fill in here, the, the harder it will be for it to come apart. So, basically, do that to be as stable as you want it to be. But if it's just like this, there's this big open area. There are no nubs grabbing there, so when you put that on top, it's only 
holding on by the outside nubs. And, you know, whatever. That's fine. Okay, so that goes there. And this, this one here, put that back, put that across, and that down there. And then that goes across there, that goes across there, and that goes across there. And that should make a very stable uh, connection in all that. Two of those there, two of these here. There we go. Now you can kind of get a feel for the magnificence of this and the somewhat <laughs> slapdash way of putting it all together. Okay. And as you can see from this picture here, um, I used two two by fours um, for one of the bottoms of this instead of a, two, a four by four. You might not have as many four by fours as I do, so you can, you can substitute two by fours for any or all of these. Might actually make it a little easier to take apart later. Because when these things are stuck down by all the nubs, even with a brick separator, it is a job to, uh, to, to take apart. Okay, now let's flip it back over again because we're gonna need these smoothing nubs. And I put them pretty much on the edges. That might make it hard for it to land on uh, sort of a narrow spot, but whatever, it makes it it keeps some of the, the bottom pieces a little more stable. Okay, okay, now we're getting a little fancy. We're making some cool stuff. So we got two of these right here. Let me move this out of the way. We're gonna put these red things on the front, red shoe pieces. Then a couple of dark red one by one bricks. And then a couple of, nope, 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 not the red ones, the uh, gray. Oh. I thought I had light gray ones. I must have used them for something else. Hmm. Well, these are supposed to be light gray, but I suppose dark gray will do. And those go on top of here and here, right? Wait, actually, I'm not so sure about that. Yeah, that goes on the bottom, on the bottom part with the red facing back. There we go. And then, <clears throat> this is gonna look a little odd now. Okay, well, first we'll do this. Okay, so you're gonna need six of these, and you're gonna do this. You're gonna put orange nub, orange uh, nub, orange two by one there, and orange two by two on top of that. Two. Bring all this in. Three, four, five, and six. Six. And those go. Well, they go on top of here. So the back's going all the way to the back of these. And this just makes it look a little extra cool. These are another piece that, ha that are extremely hard to take off. 
So when you want to unbuild this, um, make sure you are ready to take it all apart because more will come apart when you try to take it off. Okay, now we're going to build the others of this. Gray in front, dark in middle, light red in the back. Gray, one by one, upside down shoe. Uh, wait, I did that wrong. You put the, uh, you do it so that the, uh, the one by four plate goes all across the top, not the bottom this time. Because these are going to go, chunk, and, chunk. So it creates a cool sort of thing here. Okay, so now we have some pieces I haven't done anything with yet. That's a little odd. Okay, so now you can take this that we made first, and it goes right in there. And this goes... there. So it looks like it's all enclosed. Okay, what's next? Okay, now the sort of warp engines. Oh, um, oh, here we go. Here's the pieces we haven't done anything with yet. These black one by two bricks, put them in the middle part of these engine pieces on the top and bottom so we have lines going all the way across and then put them on top of here sort of with this part can you see that facing back or whichever way you want to do it um, this is something I only have these in black if you have them in gray that might be a little better to do Let's see, so there they are put on, and I think that's it. And we have extra pieces, I don't know why. <laughs> okay then, well, oh yeah, these pieces are bullets for the guns. And then you can open this up, the pilot, um, the pilot kind of has to recline, unfortunately. I don't like doing it that way, but that's the way it was done. I don't have any controls in here because every time I tried to put anything in there, it uh, kept this from closing all the way, or it made it look like it was too difficult for the pilot to reach. Maybe you could put some right under his arms. That would make sense. And I have a little zombie, because zombie test pilot. Because if it crashes, you know, who cares? It's a zombie. So there we go. Um, I'll show it to you here. This is the uh, BBF CX-1 space fighter jet with a divine power source. All right, that's all I got for you today. So I will see you for the next project.